Hello everyone, welcome to Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection and today I want to show you some of the best Matchbox cars ever made. Ever made. It's uh, subjective, isn't it? Because a lot of it comes down to nostalgia. Like this one. If you're of a certain age, this is the best Matchbox car ever made in the Zephyr from Lesney. If you're just a young fella or gal, this is the best Matchbox car ever made. Uh, this is probably 2021's uh, best effort from Matchbox in the FJ Cruiser and it's a nice looking vehicle. Uh, very modern. This didn't go down well with real Toyota enthusiasts but then it grew on them and now you see them everywhere and now they've stopped making them except in little little cars so yeah it's uh rubber tires on that one i just realized um but yeah it uh, really depends on your age as to what you might think is the best matchbox car ever made uh, in my humble opinion um, these were the best matchbox cars ever made not literally but for you know I mean not for quality and all the rest of it but for nostalgic value these are the best matchbox cars out there the javelin if you can see it yes but what I'm getting at I suppose and that was Sort of mid 80s, love that car, love that car. Ford Sierra. As the table fills up very quickly, it does tend to do that on this show quite happily. So, scooch all of those on back. Um, did I get to the bottom of my point? Yes. And here we are. Lesney Edition. I have a couple of dozen of these to show you today. Um, Oh, I forgot to mention uh, Mattel's version of the best Matchbox car ever made is now in the Mattel Creations. This one, the Mercedes-Benz 220 SE Coupe. We won't go into that because I did a review on it. Um, and then, of course, you've got more nostalgic little fellas like this. The Beamer and the Mini. Some would suggest these were the best ever made. The Lotus Europa. What year was that actually? 1972 copyright for that one. Lots of happy Christmas morning memories. Oh, he almost got away with being on camera. That's of that era. But yeah, I want to show you a couple of dozen of these. There is no numbering system on these. Uh, they were issued over a couple of years. This one, 2009, so 2010 release, but they sort of bled into um, the next year and the year after. Uh, metal body, metal, metal chassis, and uh, just a load more detail. So instead of ripping open all of these packages, I have already, just to save time, but that's the only thing going over my shoulder today. Yeah, get rid of the boxes too. So we'll just happily fill up the uh, table with Lesney. Or um, a, a nod to Lesney. Um, many moons after the originals. This is the 69 Type 14 Carmen gear convertible. Long name for a short car. Lovely colour. I wish, I wish that uh, Matchbox would just get on with doing um, metal chassis and stick with it, not just for these special editions. This is hard to come by. The 65 Austin minivan as a police car, police van, funny little paddy wagon. Get yourself in trouble, you'll find yourself in one of those if you take a time warp, time warp back to 65. 
Pierce dash fire engine. There are no numbers here, so I'll have to um, not say at number da 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 because there aren't any. Um, surprising amount of plastic on this one. All of the uh, body and chrome work up top is plastic, just with a metal base. But lovely, just the same. And randomly, I'll pick out this fella. It's the 89 Chevy Blazer. So heavy. Look at the amount of metal on this one. It feels like you're picking up something else. Not a matchbox car. But so glad they did these. Sheriff on the roof. For when Smokey's in the sky. We'll have to go downstairs because already we're getting a crowd. wonder if we'll fit all of these on. Um, one of the heaviest matchbox cars I've ever come across is this. There's a lot of metal to this thing. It's the 1970 Ford Mustang Boss 302. Huge amount of metal on this thing. Should do a, um, a weight comparison. Yeah, I love having that one around. I have to do a pan round at the end because uh, we're filling up fast. The 71 Chevy Camaro Z28. Uh, it's been in this color before, but um, so much nicer with that metal base. My word. Tri spokes. Beautiful black on green. Love this car. Did that one. If you're into your military vehicles and if you're into Matchbox, this is the way to go. The Sahara Survivor. Um, there are a couple to show you today of military vehicles. But um, yeah, again, that metal base just sets this off. Bit of camo work. Really solid. Bit of suspension there too. And another military oriented one, the jungle crawler. This has been around for a long time. Usually comes in a five pack, doesn't it? But uh, you can get it singularly or could get it singularly. Uh, but again, metal base, just fantastic. Big lump of a thing. We're going to have to force the crowd back. Bit of crowd control. It's very eclectic, isn't it? All eras, all styles. Nice little bit of eye candy. Stick with emergency vehicles. Dennis Sabre is up next. At no particular number. But looking very sharp. I'll put him next to his buddy in case something breaks out. Like a fire, obviously. 57 Chev is up next. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm not sure what they were thinking on the, uh, the chassis on this one. Looks more suited to a rail car. There's a lot of metal there. Um, and the the hood, or not the hood, the, the roof is plastic, so it's a very bottom heavy, peculiar thing. Nice colour though. I do not, uh, I don't not want it, if that's an actual sentence. So the 54 Jaguar XK120 SE, beautiful car, lovely colour, even with the slight imperfection on that roof. White wall tires. Ah. Am I wrong in saying this is the best era for Matchbox? Uh, stay with the classic, the 1969 Volvo P1800S. And you even get 
a side mirror for the driver. Stunning. This hot little number, the 72 Lotus Europa Special. Lesney was established in 1953, according to the box I just picked up. I'm sure that's been on all the boxes, but I just have not seen it. 2008 copyright, this one. But I think this is a 2009 release. Most of these are. Some of them are 2010 release and even into 2011. My favourite subject on Earth is the Mercury Cougar. This is the 68 Mercury Cougar. Hmm. Spectacular. And looking very plasticky, or feeling very plasticky, is this Ambo, the Ford E350 ambulance. Everything apart from the chassis is plastic. There's always one to let the side down. Actually, I think the cab might be metal, but it feels too light to be in this mob. Um, ah, this should have gone with the, the military. We've got a trio of military. The Jeep Willys, or Jeep Willis, however you want to say it, in a lovely steely grey. Really looks the business. And this beauty, the 71 Oldsmobile Vista Cruiser, with the dogs in the back. Hmm. Love it. See, it's not like these were made in the the old land in England. These are all made in Thailand, but uh, super high quality. And we've got a couple of caddies, actually more than a couple. This is the '63 Cadillac Ambulance, MBX City Ambulance Service on the side. This looks a lot like the thing I trotted out earlier, but scales are different, everything's different. One crossed about 20 times more than the other, but you get that. Hmm. They can go side by side. One showing the other up, and uh, if the ambulance didn't work out too well for you, here's a hearse. This is a beauty. I love the colour of this thing. Uh, 63 Cadillac hearse, as opposed to the ambulance. Hmm. Beautiful colour. Pearly gates on the windows. That's what we were for, isn't it? Uh, 57 GMC step side is next. No opening parts at all on these. Um, we're lucky to get a decently painted roof. But um, yeah, this is super solid. But still, the Mustang is heavier. It's incredible. Should have uh, brought the scales into the room before I started because I'm quite curious. Let's just plod along with the 74 Volkswagen Type 181 The Thing. Stunning colour on this one. Just goes so well with the black. Even a high gloss chassis, obviously metal. Fun to go. Little peace sign on there. That's great. Moving right along, we've got a bush fire truck. They're calling it a brush fire truck. Come to this country, this would be a bush fire service vehicle. International Workstar Brush Fire Truck 207, or 2007 rather. Um, 
can you read what's on the side? Uh, volunteer fire unit, fire and rescue. And I'm not sure, was that Chrysalis? Fire and rescue, unit three. Did I pass? Do I keep my license? And look at this beauty. 1961 Jaguar E-Type in a funky, funky livery. Number 12. Although that is not number 12. We don't know what number these are. They don't get a number, but that's okay. I'm going to step you back because we're getting crowded. There you go. I told you we had a lot of Cadillacs. Here's another one, the 56 Cadillac. El Dorado, I was going to call it a Fleetwood then, but it's not. In a tomato-y, orangey red. That's funky. Oh, what a metal, oh, what a difference a metal base makes. One of those pipes. Sweet as bro. Second to last already. 71 Chevelle SS Convertible in orange. Gee, they didn't mess around with these, did they? Look at that. Hmm. Even writing on the tyres. Stunning paint job. This is Matchbox, folks. And Sadly, the last one. It's really getting into this video. <laughs> what have, oh, I've, I've taken up 17 minutes of your time already. Is that enough? The 55 Cadillac Fleetwood. So this is a Fleetwood. Whoa. What a monster. Look at that. Hmm. That's phenomenal. Yeah, so in my opinion, um, Lesney, in recent history anyway, this Lesney edition, is the best um, range of matchbox cars ever made. But from a nostalgic point of view, I'd probably go for something more like this. The Pontiac Trans Am, complete with the Phoenix Rising on the hood. That... Um, so as we pan around for the final Hollywood style helicopter end shot, please uh, subscribe, like, share, and leave a comment down below. Tell me what your favorite era of Matchbox cars is, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed the show.